go ahead and open up Internet Explorer. Now this must be Internet Explorer. You cannot use uh, Firefox or Chrome. It has to be Internet Explorer. And then what we're going to do is go to... Um, I'm going to show you one thing real quick. I'm going to go to the IP address of the camera. So 192.168.0.254. That's my IP address. Your IP address is probably going to be 192.168.1.123. Uh, so just pay attention that you're going to your camera. But I'm just going to show you this because right here it says, please install the plug. Click OK. Then click OK again. And you have to click Allow down here at the bottom of the screen. Once this pops up, you need to install the software to be able to, to see this on Internet Explorer. So click this install button right here. And then you'll get a little message down here, the run, save, or cancel. Go ahead and run that. It will say, do you want this program to run? Say yes. And of course, English, and click OK. And then click install. Uh, you have to close the Internet Explorer to do this, so just close Internet Explorer and click retry and then click finished. Uh, if this pops up saying it didn't install properly, just hit cancel. It, it does install correctly. And then go ahead and press the Internet Explorer button again. And for example, I'm going to go to the same address and you'll see it doesn't, didn't give me the prompt this time. And if you log in with the, again, on the side of the camera, it shows what your login and password is. If you log in with that login and password, you can log on directly to the camera. So administrator, A-D-M-I-N-I-S-T-R-A-T-O-R. And your password, which is located on the camera. And then click login. And then you'll see here the uh, camera, there it is. You can see that it's working. And I'm just going to click stop a minute. Go to config. And you can configure the camera in here too. So anyway, I'm going to click quit. And now I'm going to just show you how to access your camera from anywhere. So anywhere that has Internet Explorer, you just go to ctong.com. So ctong.com. And I'll pull up a login page. And you're going to type in the login that you selected when you signed up for the cloud service. Now, if you don't have the cloud service, this won't work. Uh, but as long as you signed up for the cloud service, you can use this. And I'm going to type in our test camera. Uh, you type in your login. And then this password is the password that you selected at the time of sign up with the cloud service. So this one is the username you picked and the password you picked. That way you don't have to remember the long password of the camera and it keeps things very secure. And then type in the CAPTCHA to make sure that you're a real person and click login. This website will load. It may look slightly different than this screen depending which camera you have, but it's going to show your camera all your cameras will be listed. It shows the status that it's online. And to view it, click play video up the top. And then under the device list, it will list all your cameras. Go and click your camera. Mainstream is high definition. Substream is low definition. Uh, if you're using any type of cellular connection, you want to go with substream. Otherwise, you use a lot of data to use the mainstream. And also, if you're on a slower network, the substream may be a better one to use because it doesn't use as much uh, data. So I, go, I went ahead and clicked the um, substream, and there's the camera plane. If you want to make it big, just double click it. And that's how you play your camera. Just something else to notate, uh, there's a new feature, OSS management. Not quite sure how to use it yet, but when you go in there, if you want to have your camera stream to a remote server and record on a remote server, this is what it's for. And so you just click the pay button, and you would pick which service you want. Um, the one that is the cheapest is right here. It's the middle one for 30 days. It's 0.10 RMB, which is uh, extremely cheap, a couple pennies, um, US dollars. And that's good for seven days of video. 
and the service will last for 30 days. So every 30 days, you'd pay a couple pennies to record. Unfortunately, I haven't figured out quite yet how to play the video back, but that is the purpose of this in here. So go ahead and log out and click OK. And that's how you use the CTONG system on your computer and with the uh, application on your computer. We also have the CTONG app for your cell phone. And all you're going to have to do is download the app on your cell phone, type in your username and password, and it will log in on your cell phone and you can view your cameras from anywhere as long as you signed up for the cloud service for your camera. If you have any questions, please contact our office and we'll walk you through anything that you need. Thank you.